Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we are going to discuss about a very important transit for Venus, which is almost for the next two months. This is a very crucial transit. And this is a very beautiful transit because this transit can open up a lot of opportunities for us. So therefore, it's highly crucial that we understand this transit and we use this transit in a way which can make our lives better okay so therefore uh, these coming two months are very crucial for us regarding the houses which venus rules in our horoscope in our lagna chart okay not the moon chart by the ascendant all right so let me go through the dates first this uh, this video is about the transit of venus to rohini nakshatra retrograde <laughs> so venus had entered rohini nakshatra on april 8th and it entered mrigashira on 27th which is the day after akshay tritya uh, this year and now today it's currently 23rd may and on 28th may 8 32 am as per german time in the morning it will enter Rohini Nakshatra again, all right, and it will re enter Mrigashira on July 23rd. So, almost two months 28th May to June, July, 23rd July. So, it's like almost uh, eight weeks. Okay, so a very crucial transit. And this combustion will also happen during this time. So, combustion is um, from 30th May. And the combustion will end on 15th June. So total there is a combustion of 15 days. So end of May to mid of June is the combustion. Okay. And the retrogression is of course, it started already on 13th May. And it will go direct on June 25th. So these are the dates, 44 days of retrogression. Okay. So... So this combustion and retrogression is uh, happening uh, from Mrigashira back to Rohini. And then from Rohini, it will go back to Mrigashira. So therefore, we need to understand uh, what results this can bring. So how do you know what it will bring? Well, if you are running the dashas of uh, Moon or Venus, then this transit is going to be very prominent for you. So if you're running uh, Venus Mahadasha or you're running Venus Antar Dasha, not so much Pratyantar, or you could also take Pratyantar because this is a short transit of two months. Maybe you are running Venus Pratyantar because Venus Pratyantars are very big, the longest actually. Or you are running Moon Mahadasha or Moon Antar Dasha or maybe your Moon Pratyantar is during these, these two months. Okay? And uh, if moon is a very important planet in your horoscope, so for example, if moon is your uh, day lord, if you're born on a Monday, or if you're Cancer Lagna, then also this transit is very important, okay? Or if you're born on Friday, then also this transit is very important. Uh, or uh, you have moon or Venus sitting in the ascendant, or moon or Venus, they are your Atma Karakas, either one of them, okay? So... Uh, I mean, of course, there's only one Atma Karak, so either of them. So, or if uh, Moon or Venus is a ruler of your trines, but that's secondary, I would say. Primarily, if Venus and Moon uh, or either of them are linked with the Atma Karaka, or even if they are conjunct with the Atma Karaka, then this can happen. Atma Karaka is the planet with the highest degree as per Jaimini. Or, as I said, if you're running the Dashas, then these can this transit can be very important, all right? So if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end. And this uh, transit will depend on your dashas and uh, your entire horoscope. Okay. So if you want some help from me regarding that, you can always uh, book a private coaching session with me uh, in the website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So... Two, three days back, I have been making continuous videos on uh, different topics on how to judge the results of Rahu Ketu's dashas. So you can use similar rules for uh, judging the dasha of your planets, okay, other planets also. So similarly, uh, for this transit also, you should do the same. So first, you should check your dashas, okay. 
So suppose uh, Venus or Moon, they are fulfilling these conditions, which I told you. So now you check which dashas you are running, okay? Or maybe Moon and Venus are not prominent in your chart. Means they are not linked by those factors, but you are running the dashas. So either ways, it is important. So then you need to check which houses does uh, Venus rule in your horoscope first, okay? Venus rules two signs, it rules Taurus and Libra. So for a Capricorn Lagna, Venus is the yoke card because he rules the fifth and the tenth, right? So therefore, uh, you have to understand that these houses, see what is Rohini Nakshatra actually, you have to understand. Rohini Nakshatra is a Sthira Nakshatra. Sthira Nakshatras, uh, generally they say they are very good Nakshatras, okay? uh, which is very true. At the same time, we have to understand that anything which we do in a Sthira Nakshatra, if it is not good, then that negativity prolongs. Okay? So this is something which we need to take care of. And anything good which we do, that good goodness prolongs. Okay. So therefore, uh, this is a time where we should highly be conscious of the houses which Venus rules in the chart because this combustion is also happening. Okay. So combustion means the planet is getting very close to the sun. Okay. So as you heard from 30th May to 13th June, this combustion will be there. Okay. And uh, therefore, you you need to understand what happens when there's a combustion. So when there's a combustion, what happens is, uh, combustion is like, uh, have you seen a snake you know, changing uh, the skin? So combustion is like that. Okay? So therefore, whenever a planet gets combust, it is time for you to reinvent yourself regarding that area. It's like a, a new avatar. <laughs> Okay. So, of course, uh, Lord Vishnu takes avatars, but sometimes we also might have to uh, unleash a different version of ourselves. Okay. So, therefore, the houses which Venus rules in your chart will undergo a level of transformation, which will depend on the dashas, as I keep saying always. And then, uh, what will be the nature of transformation like? So, this is regarding building something new. And why do I say this? Because uh, Rohini is related to Lord Brahma very much. Okay? So uh, Brahmaji is very closely related to Rohini and the traits of Lord Brahma, they are very much uh, uh, reflected in this nakshatra. Okay? So therefore, you have to understand that uh, there is a sense of creation which will come about and there's a sense of creativity invention new things coming up with new things okay so these factors are very crucial so therefore once you understand your dashas and your horoscope then you check uh, the houses which uh, venus rules in your chart depending on your lagna chart uh, the ascendant chart and then you need to go back to history um, not very far i would say so you need to go back to this time when yeah, 8th April to 27th April, okay. So what were you doing during this time? You need to check yourself. These 20, uh, 20 or 19 days, okay, around the ending date of Akshatritya. So what is that which you were doing very wholeheartedly? Because that time Venus was direct. And did you feel that there are certain things which you could not achieve during that time? So now is the time from uh, this 28th uh, to uh, like 23rd of July. Is it 23rd July? Yeah, 23rd July. Yes, May 28th to 23rd July. So now is the time that you uh, go back to that April period, which I said, those 20 days. And you see what are the things that I was doing which did not fulfill my agenda. And now... You have to create something new regarding uh, the things which we, you were doing those days. Okay, And uh, because it is a sthira nakshatra and it is uh, growing, okay, it is like a dhruva nakshatra as they say. It means always growing. Okay, So therefore, now you can uh, expect, depending on your dashas, okay? so I'm very careful with the word expect. So... I, I don't say that you can expect bad things or good things. Or that. that all depends on the dashas. But to the extent the dashas agree, you can expect a significant growth in that area. 
regarding the houses which Venus rules in the chart. Uh, and you will realize that uh, there are certain things which you are doing in those April days, which uh, you will redo, but it will be a new version of yourself because this is happening after combustion, okay? Because Mercury Venus are always conjunct, so uh, I mean, they're not conjunct, sorry, they are very close to the sun, so this conjunction always keeps coming back. So, therefore, you have to understand that uh, this conjunction will be there. So, Venus will pass through this conjunction of, with the sun, okay, and sun, as you know, is the natural Atma Karaka. So once this combustion happens, so then you will see there is a desire to reinvent and create. And all the, uh, all the traits of maintenance and cre creation, or primarily creation, I would say, is there in this nakshatra. Okay? Now, Dhruva nakshatras are also famous for maintenance. So not other, the other Dhruva nakshatras are not related to creation, which is Lord Brahma. But Rohini is the nakshatra which is related to Lord Brahma. So, so creation and maintenance are there together. Okay, so this is a very beautiful time to invent, to reinvent a version of yourself. Okay, regarding the houses which Venus rules. Okay, so you take a note of yourself. What were you doing in April? And then you check where is this sign Taurus in your horoscope. So. The manifestation, the actions which you will do will be related to that house. Okay? But the agenda will also contain uh, Libra because uh, Venus rules Taurus and Libra also. So Libra is the Multricone sign. So wherever Libra is falling, that will be your prime focus. Okay? It, it doesn't mean you will go there, but that house will be your prime focus. And to, to fulfill that agenda, you will go to Taurus. And because Venus also rules Taurus, so Taurus will also be in agenda. Therefore, you must know how to combine both and then uh, understand what is happening. Okay, And because Rohini has a lot to do with aesthetics, basically, beauty, creativity, charm, attraction, and uh, all the things which make life uh, seem beautiful. So if Venus is your 10th Lord, then this is the best time. So suppose uh, you, you you have a hotel. Okay? So now, now is the best time that you can decorate your hotel in such a way that uh, nobody could ever imagine. If Venus is your third lord, it can show your website. Okay? If Venus is your... Um, any, any, any house you can take. You know, if Venus is your fifth, fifth lord, then if you have children, then... You can do so many new things with your children, which you will always cherish later. Okay, And because uh, it is a Dhruva Nakshatra, so the power of sustenance is also there. So uh, you will feel that whatever I am doing now in these two months, these eight weeks, I am able to sustain it in a long run. Okay, And I will also be starting with the Brahma Samhita playlist. Uh, many of you have requested, so I will do uh, Brahma Samhita also more frequently now along with the Vishnu Sastana because um, Brahmaji is very closely related to Rohini. And you can always do some, uh, because Brahma Samhita is very beautiful. It contains the description of Krishna and uh, it contains uh, Brahmaji's prayers. So it combines both actually. And Krishna is also related. His moon was also in Rohini. So therefore, now is the time that you reinvent yourself totally and take those actions which will make your life much, much, much better after uh, 23rd July. Because remember this, whatever you do in a Dhruva Nakshatra expands. So if you do things properly during this time, okay, then you will see great results. Great. <laughs> yes, I've seen this always. Uh, whenever you uh, do anything in Dhruva Nakshatras, if you are sincere and committed with your efforts, which requires long time consistency, then it makes wonders for you actually. Okay? You will be surprised that how you are able to maintain that even after so many difficulties. You will be surprised. Okay. So therefore, please do not waste this time. So if, if Venus is like your uh, third, fourth lord or you know ninth lord, fifth lord, then you can read something new. You can read something online. You can, if uh, if you are into IT, you can learn web development. It's a very good time. Okay. And 
anything it anything that is required please do it now okay because uh, rohini is a very beautiful nakshatra to create and sustain things okay because many times people create uh, new stuff okay they are very much enthusiastic about beginning and sometimes people cannot continue that yes but sometimes people can maintain but they are not having ideas to create so rohini is very highly creative and it's related to a lot of creativity and uh, it is moon's favorite nakshatra remember that so uh, uh, if if your dasha is indicating uh, difficulties it can also happen that you become a victim of jealousy and envy from others okay so take that into consideration and rohini if if uh, if your dashas are not good then it can happen you are becoming too much obsessed with uh, showing off your body your skin or your activities okay so make sure you do not do that because then that will uh, that might because rohini is related to envy you know, the other queens of the moon they were always envious of rohini because uh, he always liked her more i mean he she was his most uh, loved uh, wife actually so uh, not to give a negative context to rohini but these 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 might happen because then you might see this video and you might think oh great things will happen no whatever is in your dashas will indicate but that will happen but the thing is you should know how to use it so you if your dashas are indicating great things then utilize this and if your dashas are not indicating great things then uh, then also you should try to may improve yourself but make sure you are taking care of these precautions which i am saying because i i, I just don't want to uh, say sweet things and you know get uh, more people to see or get more views or so that you share this oh this video is so nice because then you may share it to somebody and then that person is running a terrible dasha and then that person will hit back at you and then you will hit back at me that oh you said you know great things will happen no if the dasha is good advance yourself and if the dasha is not so good then take precautions okay but irrespective of your dashas you can always use these transits to uh check uh how you can improve yourself and of course the ashtagvaga scores also matter here and uh, if you already have a planet in rohini then this will matter more okay and uh, what that is and how that will matter that will depend on your horoscope all right so that is it from my side uh make your life better uh start doing new things and uh be in a situation where you can congratulate yourself after 23rd july all right thank you very much for your patience and if you want to watch the video on venus remedies you can watch it here here or here somewhere <laughs> all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him uh, if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me you can always go down to the description section okay Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.